Have you ever wondered how many stars are in the sky? Or how they shine so bright? Or how many fish are in the sea? And how they got their beautiful colors? Or how every single tiny snowflake has its own unique design? We may not know all the answers to these questions, but we know who does. God created every person, animal, and tree. He knows every star in the galaxy and every grain of sand on the beach. The same God who created the universe knows every hair on my head and every dream in my heart. He is the designer of it all, and He knows us by name. He loves us. He cares for us. And to know that is to know something that is truly indescribable. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to our Indescribable Summer Book Club. I'm Miss Lindsay, and if you're joining us after following along this past month, we're so glad that you're here. And if this is your first time, welcome. I hope that you have gotten a copy of this book, Indescribable, as we've been reading through it all summer long. It's been so much fun to learn about God and about the world around us. Today, you can see I'm here at the zoo because this month we're gonna take some time and learn about animals and what they have to teach us about God. So I hope that you can come and visit the zoo this summer. It's super fun to see all of the animals. So let's take a look at today's devotion. It's devotion number 54 on page 114 and it's called Perfectly Planned and Created. And on the count of three, I'm gonna have you read the verse with me. Are you ready? One, two, three. Lord, you are our father. We are like clay and you are the potter. Your hands made us all. Isaiah 64, eight. Wow, what a great verse. Now let's take a look at our devotion. Follow along with me. There are some pretty interesting, really weird animals in God's creation. One of them is the camel. With its thick, bushy eyebrows, long eyelashes, hump on its back, and big floppy feet, the camel is not exactly the world's cutest creature. But everything about it was perfectly planned and created by God to help the camel live in the desert. That big hump, most people think it stores water, but it actually stores fat. That big hump of fat lets the camel go up to a week without drinking water during the summer, and it can go even longer without eating. You know how? The camel can burn the fat in its hump for both energy and water. So what about those bushy eyebrows and long eyelashes? They keep out the desert sand. Camels can even close their nostrils to keep out the sand. And those big floppy feet, they're perfect for traveling long distances on shifting sands. Yes, camels were perfectly planned and created to live in the desert. Just as fish were perfectly created to live in water, birds were perfectly created to fly, and monkeys were perfectly created to swing through the trees. And you were perfectly created to be you. Just as a potter shapes the clay into the vessel he wants to make, God made you with a plan and for a purpose to love him and to love others. And he gave you special talents and abilities so you could live out his purpose for you in a uniquely you kind of way that no one else can do. God is the perfect creator and he created you according to his perfect plan. Wow, isn't that amazing to think about the camels and their humps and that they really don't store water but that they store fat. But see, God knew that's what the camel needed to survive in a really hot climate, kind of like it is today in the desert. Now, boys and girls, I want you to remember that God created you for a plan and a purpose. If he made a camel with a plan and a purpose, he made you for a plan and a purpose too. Now let's look at our Be Amazed Indescribable Fact together. Take a look right here on page 115. Be Amazed. Baby camels are born without any humps at all. Camels with one hump are called Arabian camels. They live in the Middle East. Camels with two humps are called Asian camels. They live only in China and Mongolia. It's pretty cool. Even baby camels are made special and God made you special and he has a purpose for your life. So remember that today, boys and girls. Let's pray together. Say this prayer after me. Lord, I know I am your creation and you design me just the way you wanted me to be. Please show me the talents you've given me 
and help me use them in ways that make you smile and help others see you. Amen. Amen. That's right, boys and girls. God made you special and he's given you gifts and talents and abilities to use for him. So remember that this week. Now, finally, let's wrap it up with our special phrases we've been saying each and every week together. Say these after me. Are you ready? Our God is awesome and amazing. Our God is mighty beyond our imagination. And our God is indescribable. That's right. I can't wait to see you next week for another animal that we learn more about in God's creation. Bye. Just what your love has done for me yeah. 